Hello, and welcome to Granted Gardens. Today, I wanted to shoot a quick video just describing some of the ways that I go about um, harvesting and uh, maintaining my basil. So, basil is one of those herbs that will bolt, and when it does, it's not that great. Um, a lot of your herbs, once they start to bolt, the actual herb will start to die off. Um, the plant decides to focus its energy on creating seed so that it can reproduce. Um, basil, though, however, is an herb that's fairly simple to um, maintain and try to keep it from bolting, at least for a little while. I do plan on letting some of my basil bolt eventually because I would like to collect seed. the traffic. Um, so I would like to collect seed eventually, but uh, we eat basil on a pretty regular basis, so I try to make sure that I hold back on the bolting as, as long as possible. So today I just wanted to do a quick video on how I harvest and maintain my basil. Alright, so here we have one of our basil plants. So as far as harvesting goes, it's pretty simple. Um, just look for some of the mature leaves. So this right here would be an example of a mature leaf. The way that you can tell is that the leaf itself is hardier. Um, it's going to be thicker. It also will have these ridges in it. Um, as the plant develops, you'll get basil leaves. This is a good size to pick them at. Um, so I just pinch my basil off to harvest it. Now you'll notice that maybe at the bottom of the plant, let's see, oh, here's a good example. Um, let's see if I can get down here. So this leaf does not have the deep ridges like the other one I just picked. So this one, it also is a little bit flimsier. So this one here is not ready to be picked yet. As I mentioned, you also want to look for size. So you want something about this length um, and again, with the deep ridges, you'll also notice that at the bottom, uh, the leaves start to curl a bit. So they will be almost like an umbrella shape. That's a good time to pick them. when I'm harvesting my basil is any leaves that may have damage to them I try to pick uh, right away so this one here we see we've got some holes in him so I'm gonna go ahead and pick him along with this top leaf even though it's not quite as big as the others I'll pick them off um, because once they start to develop any further they'll get to the point where those holes will start to turn brown so I'd rather pick them now um, and use them when I can now, as opposed to letting them sit for too long, then they will end up uh, turning brown on me. In this video, I refer to the term bolting. For those of you that may not know, the term bolting refers to the process that a plant goes through naturally when it stops trying to produce the plant or fruit itself, but actually focuses on its reproductive system. So a plant will shoot typically sprouts that come up that are going to either flower or turn to seed. And that is how the plant naturally reproduces. This is a good opportunity for you to collect the seeds if you're interested in planting the plant again next year, but it will affect the outcome of the plant. So once the plant does bolt, it tends to not taste as well, the plant may yellow, and then it's not quite as good for cooking or eating. But again, it's a good opportunity for you to collect those seeds and use them for next year. Now, when it comes to keeping basil from bolting, the key is to look for any of the top sections that look like they're starting to flower. Once you start seeing that, it's very simple to keep them from bolting. You just pick those top parts off. We've got plenty of examples here, but we'll zoom in on this guy right here. So you can see that at the top, he's got a bunch of little baby leaves. This is where it's starting to bolt. So the easiest way to keep them from going to seed is to just go in and you can just pinch off, pinch off that flower. 
Now, if you get a section that has a big enough flower, you're more than welcome to keep it. I do tend to keep them as much as I can and just let them dry out because I'll add them to my dry basil um, and you really can't taste the difference. But as far as the flowers go, um, as long as they're still green leaves, you can go ahead and pick them and add them to let them dry out. Um, once they start going to stalks though, there really isn't much you can do to keep them from bolting. Now, once they do start bolting, it's not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you're trying to keep them for seed. Uh, once the plant starts to bolt, the bottom of the plant, the leafy part, will start to die off a bit. They'll tend to turn yellow. They won't taste as well. But you can let them go all the way to flower, and then once they flower, they'll produce seeds. Those seeds you can keep, and you can harvest them, and then plant them for next year. I hope this helps. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.